Welcome to Chronicles of Comfort. Our reading of comfort is taken from Ecclesiastes 9, 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. God has given each of us talents to contribute to life on earth, but at times, situations, and the lack of opportunities frustrate us, and we wonder where we can turn to utilize those divine gifts. Be encouraged, and wherever you are at this point in life, continue to do your best as you pursue your goals. I hope the story of Dr. Daniel Hale Williams will encourage you. Dr. Williams knew that African Americans were not allowed to work in hospitals as doctors, but he had a dream and he graduated from Chicago Medical College in 1883 at the age of 27. Since he could not work in a hospital, he opened up his own office in Chicago and he treated individuals in the neighborhood. He even performed surgeries in private homes, and this was at a time when that practice was not very successful. Eventually, to counter racial bias, Dr. Williams founded the Provident Hospital and Training School for Nurses in 1891, and this emerged as the first hospital in the country with a nursing and intern program which hired African Americans. It was there that Dr. Williams became the first surgeon to perform open heart surgery on a human in 1893. The operation was done without x-rays, antibiotics, surgical prep work, or tools of modern surgery. The news of Dr. Williams performing the surgery spread quickly, and he was considered a pioneer in the field. He was then asked to be chief surgeon of Freeman's Hospital, a hospital that was opened after the Civil War to treat African Americans. God knows the plan he has for you, and he will give you opportunities to utilize your talents. Continue to trust him as he leads you towards the blessings he has in store for you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are indeed thankful for the gifts you have given to us, and in faith we know you will open a way for us. We continue to trust you, and we continue to rely on you. This we pray in your holy name. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. And as always, may the Chronicles of the Bible provide comfort and salvation to you.